the magician will attempt to cheat death one more time as he takes on the spinning blades of this giant turbo fan. The fan is positioned in a framework and behind a protective canvas shield that will prevent others from harm and to save us from a gruesome sight should anything go wrong. You're looking at an actual turbo fan that is capable of slicing a human to pieces in a matter of seconds. The assistants enter to give the magician the help and encouragement he needs to perform this dangerous trick. On his command, they open the protective shield to reveal the razor-sharp blades. Remember, this is a professionally trained, world-class magician. Do not attempt this or any other illusions at home. You can see that there is room in the framework behind the fan. Keep your eyes on the magician. He steps up into the frame, so he's standing directly behind the spinning blades. Not the safest place to be, but the object is for the magician to defy a horrifying death. The assistants close the shield and bolt it into place, carefully sealing the canvas. He's ready. There go the lights. And there he is, still standing behind the deadly blades. But what's this? He seems to be pushing his hand through the spinning blades and out of the canvas shield. Yet the turbo fan is still spinning. pulls his hand back through. I must be seeing things because that is impossible. The lights go out again and the girls enter. They unbolt the front of the frame and open the shield. And there is the masked man standing behind the rotating blade still in one piece. There's no way for him to have passed his arm through the canvas without being sliced to pieces. It must be an illusion. The frame is bolted shut one more time, and the canvas shield is sealed. Let's see what happens. The girls back away to a safe distance as the magician gets ready. There go the lights. They're back on in an instant. Maybe that turbo fan is causing a power shortage. No matter. We can clearly see the shadow of the magician on the shield. But that's not a shadow. That's really his hand. And now his foot. That's no illusion. He should be shredded by now, yet he continues to pass through that van as if it weren't even there. He's out, and the fan keeps spinning away. The magician has challenged death yet again and won. Good job, masked man. I'm truly your biggest fan. We just saw the masked magician walk through the spinning blades of an industrial turbo fan and survive. So how does the magician pass through the razor-sharp blades of the fan without being sliced and diced like a mountain of coleslaw or a mound of julienne fries? The secret is a matter of mechanics and split-second timing. First of all, the blades of the fan are real, and they are very sharp. But you know by now that when a magician prevents you from seeing something, that something is the secret but he's not making the magic happen. This guy is. From this angle, we can see that the frame around the fan is built to allow the fan to slide back and forth. When the stagehand pulls on the cables, a concealed pulley system moves the fan closer to or further from the canvas. The next secret is in the lighting. Two different spotlights are cleverly focused so that the shadow of the fan is exactly the same size whether it's closer to the canvas shield or farther away. Here, the fan is positioned close to the canvas. 
When the spotlight goes out, the fan is moved back, and the next spotlight comes on, but the shadow looks precisely the same. From the front, you can see the shadow appears to be the same size. The magician waits for the light to go out, steps to the side of the frame as the fan moves back, and then steps in front of it before the next light comes on. Now that he is in front of the fan, he can safely pass his hand through the center seam without harm. The shadow makes it look like his arm is crossing the dangerous blades. From this angle, you can see that he's merely standing in front of the rotating fan. See, no danger at all, as long as he doesn't lean back. But how did he get back behind the revolving blades by the time the frame was opened? Simple. When the light goes out, he just steps to the side and reverses the process when the fan slides forward. The lights come back on, and he looks like he's standing exactly where he started. Then it all happens again one more time. The lights go out, the magician sneaks around the fan, and when the lights come back on, he splits the seam and steps through. The audience thinks he's magically walking through the twirling fan. And there you have enough secrets to make your head spin.